guys my name is crystal and welcome to the youtube channel mine crystals um if you like my videos please press the like button if you like them also please subscribe it does help um and when it helps you know that people like your videos and it's worth continuing your channel um if you know what i mean and I, I hope I'm giving some women help through the menopause or the perimenopause leading up to the menopause because um, I'm just having brain fog at the moment and really bad hot flushes when I'm outside which can be quite frightening when you're overcome with dizzy spells and memory loss um, and I have looked up several things online and um, yeah and sometimes a woman can feel like she's dying going through the perimenopause and the menopause. The symptoms are quite frightening. I've tried HRT patches and they don't work for me. So I have filled in an online consultation form with my doctor. And they're supposed to get back to me by tonight. Um, I hope they do because I don't... I mean, I have been anemic in the past and almost collapsed. Right, guys. Alexa, what's the time, please? It's 9.59 a.m. I'm expecting a, a cardo delivery this morning. Um, I'm not feeling great. I went out last night with my troubles. Um... I've had it for about three weeks now, this feeling of dizziness, feeling weak and, you know, I'm, I, the other day I, I forgot where I put my keys. Um, so I thought, right, last night I felt okay. I had a spell where I felt okay and my son said to me, Mum, would you like to go to the cinema? Because I had to say no a, 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 the week before because I, my head was all over the place. I'm, I'm having hot sweats, hot flushes. Um, and if a place is overheated and I have a hot flush, I feel like I'm going to faint. So I wasn't feeling well enough to go to the cinema last week. So my son said, would you like to go to McDonald's before the cinema? And I said yes, because I, during these hot flushes, I feel like I can't eat. I can't eat anything. I feel so hot and irritable, and I just can't eat. So I said yes, I would like a McDonald's before we go to the cinema. So my son picked me up outside the flat, and he took me up to McDonald's. And we sat in McDonald's, and he kindly paid I like to have a happy meal because I'm a big kid at heart and I like a happy meal so you've got these screens where you can order get a table service you get a plastic thing with the table number on and you get table service so I had a happy meal cheeseburger with fries some Tropicana orange juice I had a Maltesers ice cream, mini one, and I had a cappuccino. And I, when it says, do you want a toy or a book? I said, I wanted a book. So I got a toy instead. Isn't that just my life, isn't it? I wanted a book and they give me a toy. And at the moment, it's the Smurfs. So I, th this is the toy I was given, Storm, the Smurfs, when you, and it's got a smile on the top. <coughs> so when you open it up, I've, I've got an Irish Smurf. She's Irish. She's got the four-leaf clover, Irish. And it's Storm. She is called Storm. Because it's on the back. Storm, an Irish Smurf, right? So if we put that back. Before I met my 
son, I'd been talking to a guy that supposedly lived in Chatham. And we started talking on Facebook dating. And I thought I was getting along with him. We was having a laugh, having a joke. And then he suddenly said to me, um, I smoke weed. I smoke weed and would you share a joint with me? He smokes ordinary weed and solid, he said, solid. So that put alarm bells in my head because I, I don't smoke. Any form of smoking affects my lungs and breathing. So I was going to meet him in Chatham because you don't get guys to meet right at your place or take them to your flat because I've done that before and that's dangerous. So I thought if I met this guy in Chatham and just had a chat with him and see where it went. And then he spoilt it. When I come to meet you, I'm going to bring a joint. No, no, I, I don't want to get involved with drugs, thank you. So I was iffing and ahhing whether to meet this guy. And then I thought, I, I went out with my, I, my son to McDonald's. And this guy sends me two pictures, one of him in a pub with his mates and one of him of himself while I'm sat with my son. And um, no, so he probably thought I was stuck indoors, not going anywhere. So he'd sent me a picture of himself out in a pub with his mates. And I was out with my son in McDonald's, so it didn't really matter. But I have never smoked weed in my life. I don't smoke weed. I don't know the ins and outs of weed. If other people want to do what they've got to do, don't involve me in it. So I just ignored that. Carried on having a McDonald's meal with my son and the ticket machine. The ladies were very nice very nice ladies, me and my son came in, they were talking to my son, two, two older ladies, one had a tooth missing where my mum had a tooth missing, one of them did have a tooth missing where my mum had a tooth missing, so she smiled with a gap in her teeth, she was talking to my son and they had a collection of McDonald's tickets and the machines weren't make, working properly. So when we ordered, there was like McDonald's tickets all over the floor when we walked in. And all the Halloween decorations were up. And this girl walked in and she had dead on the back of her sweatshirt. This young lady with grey hair, grey brown hair came in, sat down behind my son. And she had dead, dead on the back of her sweatshirt or jumper. Dead, D-E-A-D. Of course, I'm, a, I'm an anxious person and when someone walks in and they've got dead in big letters all over the back of their top, dead, it scares you, don't it? So my son said to me, what film would you like to watch, Mum? Because I'm his mum, of course I am. So he said, what film would you like to watch, Mum? Uh, and he said, um, that, Harry, that Harry Styles film isn't any good because he'd watched it before and it wasn't any good. Don't worry, darling. I said, I don't want to watch that again. So I said, okay. I don't know what it's like. I haven't watched Dr. Harry Styles in that film. I don't know what it's like. So I said, well, what about the smile? He said, well, that's late. That's, that's on about 9 o'clock. 8.40, getting on for 9 o'clock at night. I said, well, let, let's watch, um, watch that. That's all there is, really. Um. So, yeah, we went to the cinema and watched Smile together, which was absolutely horrific and scary. There was about eight to ten people in the cinema watching the film last night. About eight to ten couples. And I was sat there with my son watching the film Smile. And um, the, the, straight into the film, you've got gore. It's about people committing suicide so uh, you know before you go and watch it that it is about suicide it's very horrific very scary 
and the, the, the noise in the cinema was so loud it made me jump out of my skin um, very very loud sound um, so yeah I spent last night watching Smile in the cinema I got back to my flat at 11 o'clock my son went back home to his and I managed to go to sleep after watching a film about several suicides um, and I've got up this morning and I've taken Max for a walk um, and um, yeah it was horrific very horrific straight into one of the first um, scenes you've got a, a woman horrifically killing herself um, but there wasn't much choice of what to watch um, I'm going to get myself a monthly uh, pass so that I can go and see films at my leisure uh, probably by myself but there you go I had a hot dog, I had a pick and mix, I had a lovely milkshake which was mixed with three scoops of ice cream and uh, pick and mix is bloody expensive guys, it really is There's my pick and mix candy king, king on it, candy king, enjoy your film. So that's, this is a pick and mix from the cinema, see, put my hands in there, this little bit of sweets cost me three pounds, it's hardly anything in there, that is the value of money. That is three pounds worth of sweets. Hardly anything in there. One piece of fudge. You've always got the, had these teeth since I was a kid. You know, these funny sweet teeth. That's different. Love, jelly love. And a mouse with teeth sticking out. There's the tickets, two tickets for Smile last night. Um, I know as you get older you can't take things and people over 30 especially are prone to heart attacks and I know that I can't go on fairground rides anymore because my last experience of a fairground ride was absolutely dangerous. It was at Gillingham, me and my son got on to like a big circle ride the bar was loose and the ride went round extremely fast. My glasses, it was going round so fast, my glasses fell off my face and I lost my glasses and I nearly slipped out of the bar. I had to hold on to it, it was loose. And my son said to me, you've gone white as a sheep, mum. You've gone white as a sheep. I thought you'd had a heart attack. Are you okay? I cannot get on fairground rides. That was in Gillingham some years ago now. Um, you know how much you can take, what makes you anxious. When I watched the film last night and the first scene was a woman slitting her, slitting her, her, her throat with a piece of cutlery and all the blood was dripping out, ear to ear, whatever. It was quite shocking. Um, I think these days to sell things like, you know, in sex, they use women and that and sex to sell things. But when you're watching a horror film, now it's 
who can make it the goriest. And instead of watching a, a film with a decent story, you, you're, you're watching a film that's just got all these uh, effects, these horrible, horrific effects. And sometimes it can actually make you feel sick and horrible. You don't leave the, the film like contented and scared. You, you feel really, really ill and frightened because it's so real, you know, that it could happen. Um, if you like that kind of gore, go and watch it. But the story behind it was actually good, but, but I mean, I didn't get some of it. Anyway, guys, I'm going to wait for my Ocado shopping delivery. Last night I watched a horrific film. I do suffer from anxiousness and anxiety. But the films on at the cinema right now at the moment, they're not, not really that good. No, the one with Harry Styles in apparently is, is not good at all. See you later.